I got a comment on one of my videos asking about what software I was using for my 3D stage and I use Capture for that. And so I thought it might be a good idea to make a little video just going over some surface level stuff of how I use Capture for pre-visualization and show how to build just a quick basic stage to get you visualizing. So I wanna jump in and we're gonna just build a very simple stage. Pre-visualization is a really complex topic because if you want really realistic stages, there's a lot of modeling that goes into that. And I just wanna start basic explaining, quick and dirty, here's how you get a stage up and running in Capture and we can go from there. So I've gone ahead and created a new project and Capture starts out pretty blank, but I'm just gonna start with one of their stages in the library. If I go objects, we can scroll down to stages because there's so many things in all of the libraries. There's a lot of stuff contained within Capture, but I just wanna start with a quick and dirty stage. So I'm gonna bring the proscenium stage into my top view and then drop it. And for the sake of my own organization, I'm gonna go to the layers and I like a stage layer and I like a lights layer. And for today, we'll just start with that. I like to color code the stage layer orange. I like the lights to be blue. In Capture, if I do up into a direction, or I guess drag into the left, I get this uh, kind of textured line. If I do to the right, it's just solid. If it's solid, I need to contain everything to select it. If I go to the left, I can just touch the edge to select it. So I'm gonna select my stage. In Capture, the selected items is the main place to manipulate um, information about something. In this case, I want to change its layer to the stage layer. And now I can delete the default layer. I'm going to set this view to live. And I mainly wanna talk about Capture for previs. I don't use Capture personally a ton for paperwork, though they've made the paperwork tools better and better and better, and it keeps becoming more feature complete. But I typically do most of that in Vectorworks personally. One thing I wanna do, I'm gonna go to views, and there's the ambient lighting setting, cause I just wanna turn this up so that you can see. Here's the top of my stage that I just imported, and there's my stage. And this is just the one that is part of their default library. So I'm gonna come back to the library now and we're gonna grab some truss. I don't need anything specific cause we're just creating something to visualize. So I'm gonna go generic. I'm just gonna scroll down and grab a regular pipe. I'm gonna come to this front view. If you're on a Mac and using a trackpad, if you hold shift, you can drag around or, and this is on windows as well, hold shift and middle click and you can drag around. The main way that I use Capture, I use a trackpad and two fingers on the trackpad on Mac will let you do 3D as well. But Control or Command 1 is top, 2 is front, and then 3 is right, which is the main views that you would need to hop around. So I'm going to go to my top view. I'm just going to bring a little pipe in. Go back to our design, select the items. I'm going to go down and make this pipe, I don't know, 18 feet, that's still a little short, let's make that, let's just make it a solid uh, 40 feet. I'm just going to click and drag this so that it's kind of centered. I'm going to go to my right view, Oop. and just kind of raise it up. So now, I've got something to hang my lights from. I'm gonna go to my layers, drop that on the lights layer. Now we can go to our fixtures tab and let's grab, let's grab some Alation Picassos. I can go to my top view. I'm just gonna drag this fixture and when I bring it over to a pipe, we get a nice little purple grabber and if I bring one in you can click here to just keep duplicating it but I am going to grab here and I'm going to duplicate it just command D I will offset it we'll just go four feet I'll let there be one two three I'll let there be eight of these total I'm going to drag this to the right These look about 
equal spacing. I'm going to select them all, spread them even. And now we have our fixtures. I'm going to select them again, go back to our selected items. I'm going to put them in the lights layer. Oh, and I forgot to say earlier, if you middle click, you can do this. You can do the 3D pivot. You can also do two fingers on the trackpad. So now that I have these, I need DMX addresses on them. So I'm going to select them. We're going to scroll down, pick our DMX mode. Why not make them 62 channel? I can quickly go sequential. Give them a channel number. Let's start them at 101. And if I look at my fixtures tab here, here's all of my fixtures. I can see that they are renumbering. And then I'm gonna give them a patch, start them at one. Oh, that's basically a whole universe worth. And there's all of my fixtures. Now DMX address and channel numbered. I'm gonna go back to the design view. I'm gonna turn the ambient lighting off now that we have some fixtures in here. To make life a little easier now, I'm gonna go file and then export a model. And I'm gonna make this an MVR file and I've called this video stage. So I'm gonna let this be video stage.mvr. From here, I'm gonna bring this MVR into MA3. If you're using MA2, MA2 does not support MVR. And then on the other end, I'm actually not sure which all consoles do or do not support MVR format. So you'll have to check that for your own console if you're not using MA3. But I wanna show just a quick tip for data import into MA3, and then we'll get output into capture. So I'm gonna to go to my MVR folder inside the grand MA3 library folder. And I am going to paste my stage MVR that I just exported and we can do a quick import and import the geometry and the fixtures and all of that. All right, so I've got a brand new MA3 show file and I'm gonna call it video stage for the sake of consistency. I'm gonna go into the patch. We're gonna close out of this because we're gonna import this MVR. It's gonna do its thing. I'm gonna tell it to go ahead and import. I have my fixtures here, including their fixture ID. I'm going to grab this fixture type here and I need to link it to I need to link it to its fixture type, give it its profile and then get out of there. One of the things that makes MA3 unique about the way that it communicates with visualizers is MA3 requires an extra piece of hardware called the viz key to output to a visualizer. And the VizKey also enables a universe worth of parameters. But if you notice, I have this blue network session icon, which means I have right here, visualizer plus dongle, which means my VizKey is detected. And it is sitting in a session with Capture. So with Capture, ordinarily, I would just output streaming AC in our ArtNet, and that would be an option to import that DMX in. But instead, because I'm existing in a session with MA3, I actually have my VizKey universe right here. But if I go into MA3 and I say, I want an output of streaming ACN, we'll just do one universe because I have the VizKey, I have a universe licensed. I can actually see right here, there's my streaming ACN universe. And this is how you set within Capture what external universe coming in from your lighting control software is what universe within the software. It's definitely easiest for it to be one-to-one, -one, as you can see, universe one, fixture one, but you could go in and patch that however you need to, to work for your scenario. But if I go into MA3 and I say, fixture 101 through 108, and I go at, at, I can see, I have visualized fixtures. If I come over to MA3, Let's tilt them out 45 and then give them a pan of minus 20 through 20. I have fixtures fanned out. If I go in on MA3 and I change a gobo, I'm getting a gobo change. So this is just a quick overview of 
a simple scenario to get you up and visualizing within Capture. Leave a comment if you have any more questions, and I'll see you guys on the next video.